what's known today as the Southern Manifesto, a document written in 1956 in response to Brown versus the Board of Education that called for an opposition to racial integration of public places, but mostly just calling for states' rights, bro. States' rights. Saying the federal government should stop trying to overturn state laws. 19 U.S. senators and 82 representatives, all from the South, almost all of them Democrats, signed it. One dude who didn't sign it was Texas U.S. Representative Bruce Alger, who was a Republican. However, perhaps he could see which way the tide was going, and he campaigned for the midterm elections in 1956 as a pro-segregationist, which got him easily re-elected. Other Southern Democrats took notice of his victory. Over the next few years, they teamed up with states' rights Republicans to attempt to block civil rights legislation, like the Civil Rights Act of 1957, the Civil Rights Act of 1960, and the more famous Civil Rights Act of 1964. So now, the next time you're at a party, you can brag about how you know about the other Civil Rights Acts that passed just a few years before the more famous 1964 one. That'll, that'll certainly make you look really cool. Anyway, the most famous example of Southern states, states rights Democrats teaming up with a Republican is them teaming up to support Barry Goldwater when he famously got his butt kicked in the presidential election of 1964. Now, Goldwater opposed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, but not because he was racist. In fact, he was a member of the NAACP and very active in desegregation efforts. He even supported the Civil Rights Rights Acts of 1957 and 1960 and the 24th Amendment, which eliminated the poll tax. He just thought one of the provisions of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was unconstitutional and gave the federal government too much power. That's all. Wait a second. Are you... Are you not watching this video? You're just listening to it? Put those dishes down and watch. There's some pretty cool visuals. Like my face. So even though the Democrat Lyndon Johnson, or LBJ, kicked Barry Goldwater's butt in the 1964 presidential election, he was worried that his endorsement of civil rights legislation might lose him more and more supporters in the South. And he was right. When Republican Richard Nixon decided to run for president again in 1968, he hoped to somehow snatch up many of those upset voters. Well, he didn't get many because, remember, the segregation now, segregation tomorrow and segregation forever dude george wallace snatched up a lot of those votes with his third party run the term southern strategy is often connected to this dude kevin phillips who didn't come up with it but he certainly popularized Okay, guys, it has been 12 hours, and uh, I'm going to cut it short a little bit, uh, as I think it's a natural place to stop. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, what did we do today? We played some Rust, and some FFXI, and some Eve, and some Fallout 76, and some t uh, Borderlands, Tiny Tina, Wonderlands, and uh, all these games, and uh, Immortal 2 and um and uh thank you so much for hanging with me here today um and uh that's all i have for you today just a reminder i'm a full-time variety gamer all day every day put me on in the background my website is skycat.live kick come click on the cast face to donate click on the twitch or the youtube to come sub to me and uh thank you so much for your time it's been a wonderful uh shift and uh sorry to cut it short but i mean it's like 6 a.m and, and i don't know the sun's up and i think it's ready for me, uh, time for me to go to bed um i love you guys and i'll see you tonight Thank you for, for hanging in with me. It's been a really good session. Uh, thank you so much. And, and uh, uh, I love you. And, and um, just a reminder before I go, uh, this, uh, I'm going to find my OBS. There we go. This 12-hour um, and 10-minute session, 5-minute session, uh, was recorded and will be placed on my YouTube over the next 12 hours. And uh, thank you so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. You have a good day. Bye.